Hi everybody, welcome. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, changing this image up in uh, Photoshop using the channel mixer. We're going to adjust the colors and tweak that a little bit. We're also going to take a look at this as a black and white and how to tweak that. Let's start there today. There are several methods that people have used over the years to turn an image into a black and white. The oldest that I can remember was going to image mode and going to grade scale, grayscale, sorry. And uh, we can just go ahead and click flatten, discard. And you notice this is a pretty uh, dirty looking image. It, it's not, you know, it doesn't have the good rich blacks and whites in this image. Uh, that we expect out of a black and white image. But that's what we had uh, many moons ago. Control Alt Z, Command Option Z on a Mac to get back where we belong. And let's go and do another one in the same area, image and mode, and we're going to go to lab color. And we can go ahead, I don't know even what that layer here is oh I got rid of a car I'm just gonna sandwich that down <coughs> and uh, let's do that again image adjustments and we'll do the um, just lost my place mode lab color and in the lab color we're gonna go over to the channels and there you see lab and if you uncheck these different layers you'll see what you get uh, some very interesting looks for sure but let's just turn on the lightness layer so we'll basically uncheck everything but lightness and we have some really good uh, blacks and whites in this image and the middle grays that we need to successfully have a, a good image are there as well. So let's do uh, turn the lab color back on. Uh, let's actually go to history and get rid of the lab color altogether. Come back here to layers and Here's another way of doing it. Uh, one of my favorite ways back in the day. We do lose, lose some information, but this is one of the th ways that I found to be helpful. If you click on channels, <clears throat> and then you find the channel that has the most contrast. So you just click on red and look at it, green, and blue. Now, pretty close between green and blue I think greens a little bit better and then people a lot of times would do a control L to bring up levels and kinda tweak that a bit you can also go in here and uh, move the middle slider a little bit to open up the middle grays so this wasn't a bad method of doing it any either but I think the Primo way of doing it is a little bit more new and that involves the channel mixer. So channel mixer is uh, familiar, may be familiar to you as being under image and then adjustments, adjustments and then channel mixer. There you are. So we get this nice big dialog box here. That's one way to get there. Doesn't give me as much control as I'd like to have. So I'm going to cancel that because right here in at least CS6, probably 5 as well, but for sure CS6 and CC, the channel mixer is right here as a layer adjustment and we can just click right on that. Basically the same box is here, uh, only this one's in gray. So one of the best things or coolest things 
about this is we get the good monochrome choice here so we can click at that and you can see uh, what we've got as far as the black and white goes and then we can tweak the individual sliders each of the red green and blue alpha channels is basically what this boils down to you need to keep an eye on this right here your total if it exceeds a hundred percent then it's going to give you a warning that some areas may be blown out so if you went too far you can undo get back to the uh, regular start all over basically and you can type in whole numbers here so if you wanted to go like 60 here and then change this down to 20 then you're still at 100 and you bump the uh, brightness a little bit the constant you see you can further uh, lose contrast by going to the right and build more contrast going back left so you have control over that uh, don't let this stop you from getting the black and white you're looking for if, if it's you know we're losing right in here we're getting too much light but you can kind of see what's going on now once you get it exactly where you want it I'm gonna do this one more time and maybe change this green to 50 and this to 30 and we still total 100 I'm gonna say that's wonderful um, maybe bring that constant up a little bit I'm gonna close this out got a warning right here in the histogram that's fine watch what happens when I click on the mask we have the people down here here's the original layer underneath with the color right so I'm gonna click on the mask paint with black if black and white aren't here uh, press the letter D on your keyboard which will give you the default black and white if blacks not on top top press the letter X as an x-ray and it will toggle back and forth I want to make my brush smaller left bracket key and I'm going to paint with around 30 percent and just let the layer below shine through here a little bit kind of give it that retro look and feel and something else I like to do I'm just going to paint on the people a little bit just kind of hit and miss back over there a little bit and there so I'm letting this show through a little bit here and there just to kind of make it interesting okay so you can bring back however much you want or none at all totally your call but I thought that was just a nice touch if you want to go for that kind of a look alright the other thing let's let's trash this let's click the little trash button and go back to the channel mixer because another great feature of the channel mixer is the fact that we have all of the alpha channels if you go into your channels palette this is represented right here here's your red green and blue red green and blue you also have the hundred percent slider so as we change each one of these we're actually changing this same alpha channel here this is just a different representative of this so if I want to tweak my reds and really you know make it hotter so to speak we just drag it to the right we could pull the greens up also or obviously we can go down and same with the blues now that's just the red channel we can go into the green channel and we can bring up the greens take down the greens so you see the mental multiple possibilities here of what you can do with the color let's go to blue and let's pull the blue down which will bring some yellows back in bring up some green see right in there and let's just shut that 
let's go back to layers here's what we had and now you can see there was some red in there right a little heavy on the red so this kind of took it out you this is more of an eyeballing type thing you know it's not there's a magic formula to it and I exceeded the 108 percent but uh, I wouldn't you know fret over that to a certain extent but just be aware that you can be blowing out uh, some of the lighter areas if you're not careful okay that wraps up the channel mixer please let me know in comments if you have any comments or questions or tell me how wrong I am that's that's okay too talk to y'all later bye bye